Are you concerned what will happen to your assets after you go? Obviously, you can't take them with you, so you want to make sure that they go to who you want them to go to. What are ways you can avoid probate? Will you still have to pay taxes? We'll cover these questions and more in today's video. Hi, I'm Laura Clute with Ozark Gateway Realty, and I work with lakefront sellers who are animal owners in Cherokee Village, Arkansas. You might be wondering why a realtor is talking about probate. Well, I'll tell you what, I get a lot of calls about people that have inherited property and want to sell it, but they can't because they have to go through probate first, or it's not worth it if it's just a lot because the cost of probate is too much. So in this video, we're going to talk about why it's important for sellers to transfer property in different ways before they pass away. Make sure you do contact a lawyer for specific questions about living trusts or beneficiary deeds, as well as your financial planning or for any other questions about transferring your estate. What is probate? Let me give you a definition so we're all on the same page. It's a public court process used to review assets and liabilities of an estate. A judge will then distribute what's left over as the will states or the law states if there is no will. I don't know about you, but I don't want a judge deciding who gets what of my stuff. There are a few reasons you'd want to avoid probate. First of all, time. It is a slow process. It can take months or years depending on how many assets you have. And also, just the court has to be available. For example, during COVID, it was very hard to get into court for any reason. And because time is money, that goes into the next concern, cost. The state will have to pay an executor, attorney fees, court costs, and that adds up quickly. I am a penny pincher, and I don't even want my estate spending money it doesn't have to spend. Probate is also public. All parts of the court process are on record for the public to review. I'd rather not anyone know about my assets, whether I'm alive or not, but also what my inheritance is giving away. So what ways are avoiding probate possible? We're gonna talk about five ways to avoid probate. The first being a small estate. In Arkansas, if you have less than $100,000 left after your assets and liabilities, the remainder, then you can do a small estate. It still has to go through probate if you don't have any of the other areas covered, but it will be quicker and it'll cost less money and sometimes you can get to this small estate if you go ahead and give away some of your money, which is the next idea, giving away your assets before you die. This may dec decrease estate taxes, but you are giving up control of your assets and you have to be okay with that too. You can give up to $15,000 away every year and neither you nor the receiver has to pay taxes on that. The third way you can be avoiding probate is a living trust. This is the most common one I see many people in our area have living trusts. If the trust is managed by a trustee, when a person passes away, the trust doesn't go away. It goes to the next trustee. All your assets need to be in the trust once the trust is created. A trust can be costly to have created and may not make sense if you qualify for a small estate or something else to make your estate cost less money and cost less taxes. So again, check with your lawyer, check with your accountant, see if a trust is the right way for you to go. The fourth way to be avoiding probate is to make your accounts payable upon death. You probably already have this with your life insurance policy and your retirement by having a beneficiary on your account. But you can also do this for bank accounts and vehicles. So once you pass away, you just record the death certificate and the beneficiary has full control of the accounts. You can also do this with real property with a beneficiary deed or a ladybird deed. A beneficiary deed just transfers real estate from owner to owner upon the death of the first owner. It can be used for multiple peoples and you can even do it in different percentages like 50% to one and 25% to another two. They have no rights while that owner is alive and the beneficiaries can be changed without the beneficiaries knowing. If you are married, this is in most states, the spouse has rights before the beneficiaries. So I believe that you could do a beneficiary deed to your children, and so then if both of you passed away, it would go to them, but if your spouse was still alive, then it would go to them first. A ladybird deed is what's a life estate and then a remainder estate. A life estate is for a person to have full use, unlimited use of the property while they are alive. They can't transfer the property, they can't sell it, they can't encumber it, but they have full use of it. And they can't change who gets it after them. They can't change the remainder without the remainder knowing. So that's how it's different from a beneficiary deed. And the remainder has then full use of the property once the person that passed away that had the life estate has passed on. The fifth way to avoid probate is to own property jointly. There's joint tenancy by right of survivorship, 
which you can do with any person, and then there's tenancy by entirety, which is for married couples. In Arkansas, spouses have interest in property whether it was bought before, during, or after marriage, so make sure that's addressed if you do get a divorce. They do have equal interest, so if one passes away, the other gets their interest, as long as there's just two of them in the joint tenancy. They also have equal rights, so action can be taken without the consent of the other, but they can sell or transfer their rights without the other knowing. This is similar to a beneficiary deed, except with joint tenancy, they have use of the property now. And with a beneficiary deed, they only have it after the owner passes away. So it depends on what you want to do on how you want to transfer the property. So what about taxes? Many people want to avoid taxes in general, but especially when it comes to their estates. Assets you have lifetime use of are likely to be included in the estate for tax purposes, so check with your accountant about how your estate will be taxed. Gift tax will apply to adding joint owner or adding remainder interest, but it does not apply to beneficiary of a living trust, retirement accounts, life insurance accounts, annuity, transfer on death, so that would be the beneficiary deed or the labor deed, because they're called incomplete gifts. So that does probably factor in your decision about which way you plan to transfer your property. Keep in mind creating a will is not a way to be avoiding probate. It can speed up the probate process and reduce your costs. And it is important to have a will as one of the options above that works best for your situation in place before death. That makes the process easier for those inheriting as well as your possessions going to who you want them to go to. For more ways to save on taxes, check out this video, Who is Exempt from Paying Property Taxes? See you next time!